For the last defender. Well, that's great stuff. So welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio. It's Tuesday the 9th of July, and here is Margaret with the forecast. Thanks, Colin. The next few days will be mostly fine and dry, with a little fog over the hills. Litter picking, foraging, and epic lunch spots are on the cards for the explorers. We are currently doing the drive from our campsite in Lamberis up north to uh, the Lake District. We're hoping to get to uh, uh, Buttermere, I think it is, is the, the general location. However, we've just made our first pit stop. Uh, we are in the Lake District now, but we're going to have a bit of lunch, and I think this is a damn good spot. <laughs> Perfect for a pit stop and to stretch the legs, but not much of a destination. So we've just finished our lovely lunch, uh, beautifully prepared by Meg, yet again. Uh, so we're going to move on from this little spot and make our way further into uh, the Lake District. So we've done the washing up and we've even picked up the little bit of litter that was around here because we believe that you should leave a place better than you found it. The weather is a bit dull so it's a uh, perfect driving weather and we also did our Snowden walk yesterday so we're not in the most active mood. So it's time to move on and say goodbye to this old dam. We then repacked the van, putting everything back securely in place, trying to avoid spills or stuff falling out the cupboards on the way. We headed towards the West Lakes, taking in the epic scenery, driving around Crummock Water and Buttermere Lakes. We were only here a matter of weeks ago, but there is plenty more to see. This time we only had three days to see and do as much as we could. Welcome to Honister Pass. It's a very well known piece of road in the Lake District. Very windy, single track kind of downhill road. And it's pretty epic. I think the footage speaks for itself. Cal hopped out at the bottom and got the drone out and he is somewhere in the distance walking up, bless him. It's just about to rain. We decided to make the Honister Slate Mine car park our stopover for the night. It was deserted and we couldn't see any signs telling us overnight parking or camping wasn't permitted. We settled down and made tea. Not ideal. <laughs> so this was our park up for the night. We were very lucky to find it. But unfortunately, uh, the epic views have been uh, somewhat obstructed by the heavy fog. Still beautiful though. It's also raining slightly, so I think I'm gonna get back in the van before I get too wet. Car park early and headed to Keswick, where we found a bustling high street. We're on the hunt for Wi-Fi and a good morning coffee. Hold my hand, could you hold my hand? Look me in the eyes. After that, we escaped the crowds and found yet another epic spot to have lunch. We walked around Derwent Water Lake and found a less trodden footpath to find a more secluded spot. So I'm not sure if you can hear me over the water lapping up against the shore, but uh, we just had a really nice lunch again in a beautiful spot on the edge of the lake. Picked up 
picked up another little bag of trash and now we're going to head back to the van and off to our next stop. So it's good morning from beautiful Oldswater. We made it here hmm, late afternoon yesterday after leaving Keswick. We found this beautiful park up spot, as you can see, right next to the lake. We are just finishing up our morning chores in our new routine now, and then we're off to Air Force, which is a waterfall up there somewhere. Today's shaping up to be quite a good day. The weather has uh, turned for the better. The sun's just about to come out, which is good because we need to make it a little bit more solar. Although the batteries have done really well so far. We're still at a, a good voltage and there's some juice left in them, but um, the more sun the better. Air Force was a pleasantly short drive from our overnight spot. It is a National Trust site, so with our membership, we had free parking and entry. Perfect size. <laughs> Perfect size for cows. Petite bottom. There are various walks around the waterfall and forest gardens for most abilities. Let it be known that if my corpse is found up Air Force, it's because Meg has picked this from a bush and told me to try it, which I will do. <laughs> Why will you do it? Because you've got that knife. <laughs> <laughs> because this is the way it has to be, foraging. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, not bad. Is that your first wild strawberry? Possibly. First tiny strawberry. Your portion sizes suck. <laughs> Here we have our friend the Bilberry, uh, cousin of the Wimberry, which we've used before in one of our cooking videos. These are rich in vitamin C, and I'm having a lovely time on this walk, finding so many edible things. Force holds a very special place in my heart. This is where my parents got engaged many moons ago. Shout out to Beck and Stu, now both happily divorced. Anyway, on to the next epic lunch spot. So that was a lovely little walk. We found some beautiful spots and a fantastic spot for lunch. Uh, we also spotted Justin and Claire from South Wales. Well, actually they spotted us. Uh, but we had a good chat with them. Uh, lovely to see you guys. If you ever do see us out and about, do say hello. We might be weird for about two seconds while we understand what's going on because it's quite weird being spotted when you're just Meg and Cal from like Shropshire. <laughs> So that's the Lake District for us. We're going to take a couple of days out now and not film anything, have a bit of a rest. Not that it's particularly strenuous, but um, it's not very exciting. We'll be driving up to Scotland. Anyway, onwards and upwards to Scotland. Join us again next time as we cross the border and visit Scotland for the very first time. Please feel free to like, subscribe and leave us a comment down below.